Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Reapy Ron, and today we're going to be going over all of the medic weapons from worst to best. This is the very last class that I have to tackle with uh, Killing Floor 2, at least as of right now, and the reason why this took so long to actually make is that it was really hard to categorize the medic weapons because pretty much all the medic weapons are really good. They all benefit the team in some way and all benefit the medic in some way. However, certain weapons are much better in certain maps, um, on certain difficulties. Um, a lot of it does depend on how coordinated the team is. If the team is really spread out, certain medic weapons are much more difficult to use. If you're in an indoor map, certain weapons aren't the best. If you're in an outdoor map that uh, has very long uh, lines of sight, other weapons don't perform very well. So I do have them written down from worst to best in my opinion. I'm going to be explaining why I put each one there, going over what their strengths and their weaknesses are. Always keep in mind that none of these weapons are bad. Pretty much all of Medic's weapons can be used on Medic on any difficulty, um, on almost any map really. It just depends on which maps you're getting, which ones more people are going to play, and which ones are the most useful for the team. That's kind of how I rated this. So let's get into them. Medic currently has 11 weapons, and starting out at number 11, we have the Mine Reconstructor. This is the DLC uh, medic weapon, and this is a tier 3 weapon. This shoots out goo balls that you can uh, then detonate with the secondary fire, or uh, enemies can detonate them by stepping over the top of them. You can also charge this up to then shoot them on the ground, but if you charge it up and try to shoot another one on top of that mine that you already set, it will just explode instantly. Uh, the explosions will also heal all allies and apply the medic effects to them. It does scale pretty decently with upgrades, although it does get to an awkward weight at 10, which still isn't too big of a deal for medic because you do have some low weight weapons, which really makes this weapon pretty decent for that. This weapon is really good in indoor maps and on maps with very tight loops where uh, there's a lot of doorways there. If you put mines in the doorways uh, or if you're playing the solo and the enemies just keep having to chase after you, you can kill them very easily with this weapon. This weapon is great in solo. But for the team, it's kind of awkward to get to activate for healing your team and giving them buffs. It's not as easy as a lot of the other medic weapons to just, you know, point at them, shoot your healing dart, and then they get all the effects and heals. That's much more straightforward. The mine reconstructor kind of needs a setup to get it to work, and then teammates have to be close to the mines when they go off. And there can be a lot of bad things that could happen. Teammates can panic. They can be trying to outrun things because they might be nearly dead or currently dying from something, and then... The mine reconstructor sometimes just doesn't cut it. At number 10, we have the HRG Vampire. This is another very interesting weapon that Medic has. This weapon is great for solo play because you can really destroy just about anything with it. It does absolutely phenomenal damage to any of the bosses. Um, it's great for any of the melee enemies. It drains their health from the blood. You create the blood ball. So once you have the blood ball, you shoot it out. It hits enemies um, or hits the ground or whatever surface you hit. Uh, splashes out and then will deal damage to all enemies with inside that as well as heal all allies and apply effects to them. If you charge it up so much then you also get to shoot these blood crystals or blood shards that do a lot of damage per shot. Uh, they are quite accurate as well and they do have high piercing damage so you can shoot them through multiple enemies. Um, the blood balls will not heal the user of this weapon, and this weapon also scales decently well with upgrades. This is another weapon that ha sits in somewhat of an awkward weight at 9. Still not too bad though, Medic can make it work. So with all that, it's just a very situational item. It can be really good in enclosed maps where your team is sticking close together. You can use the blood ball to splash it on allies easily, but if allies get spread out, it's very difficult to hit allies with the blood ball. Coming in at number 9, we have the HRG Incision Rifle. Um, this is the railgun for Medic. This is another interesting weapon as its primary fire does a lot of damage. It does 400 damage uh, with a single shot, which is quite high. It's the highest per shot weapon of, that Medic has. Its healing darts actually do a considerable amount of damage as well, doing 75 damage uh, on hit as well as being able to punch through enemies and heal allies. This weapon also has an EMP effect on its primary fire, so once you shoot an enemy, they get EMP'd, so they'll likely not be raging as soon as you shoot them, assuming it's a scrake or a flesh pound. Um, it will kill small and medium enemies extremely easy with these shots. Uh, you can kill small enemies with the healing darts very easily. You can also knock down medium and large zeds with the healing darts pretty easily too. So all that's great about the weapon. The problem comes in definitely the maps once again. If you're in an indoor map, if you're in a small map, then this weapon is not really that good. You can't make the most use of it. You're going to be shooting it like a railgun. It, ha it has all the drawbacks of the railgun. 
Uh, its healing darts can also be more difficult to aim than the other uh, medic weapons healing darts because the medic weapon healing darts do have an auto lock on them. This doesn't. It just shoot it straight and you have to hit your allies with it if you want to heal them. But it just struggles so much on small maps that it's very specialized to large open maps and people that have good aim. At number 8 we have the HM Tech 101 Medic Pistol. Uh, this is your starting weapon. This is a fantastic starting weapon and probably the best starting weapon, maybe even the best weapon in the game overall for all classes. Um, however, for just healing purposes, it's not the best. Um, it doesn't do that much damage towards enemies. It has pretty low damage to start out with. It actually scales quite well with upgrades. Uh, it also has a very nice weight. It only weighs one, so it's very easy to load into or to put into any loadout that you want. Um, so it's a really good go-to weapon for that. Uh, with upgrades, it only goes up to four weight, which is still very easy to fit into a lot of loadouts. Uh, you get a huge amount of ammo with it, and it has a pretty decent magazine. It has nice sights. You can shoot it quickly. All around, the HM Tech uh, 101 pistol is a really, really good weapon, um, especially if you're using it as a backup or a backup to your backup supporting weapon. It's all around a very solid weapon, and there's not really much downside to it other than that it does low damage uh, overall until it gets upgrades. Um, and even with upgrades, it's still not doing, you know, tons of damage it's not hitting as hard as like a desert eagle or something but it's still hitting decently well it can still kill small things very easily it's a great backup weapon and it's fantastic on on every class to have um all that combined just puts it here at number eight because medic does have more options to actually heal with so it scores a bit lower on medic than it would on any other class in our seventh spot we have the hm tech 201 smg this is a, another weapon very similar to the Medic Pistol. It has uh, very low damage to start out with and it really doesn't scale as well as the Medic Pistol in terms of damage. It does scale okay. Still a very good option for low weight, it only weighs 3 and even at max weight it only weighs 6. Again, still very easy to put into most loadouts. Has a high rate of fire, good sights, low recoil, very good at killing small enemies, not so good against big enemies um, or even medium enemies. It, isn't the best at. It's all around a pretty good weapon. It's a very good backup weapon the same way the pistol is. Pretty much everything that applies to the pistol applies to this, except for this does less damage per shot, but it has full auto uh, capabilities, and it's great for killing small things. Coming in at number six, we have the Hemoclobber. The Hemoclobber is your most defensive weapon as Medic. It's a melee weapon, uh, so you can block and parry with it, which is great. Medic is already one of, if not the tankiest class in the game, giving them a melee weapon makes them even tankier, so you have that. This weapon also has really high sustain on it, since its secondary hit uh, causes a healing cloud. With its light attacks, it's decently fast, you can kill small enemies pretty easily with this. You don't have any bonus uh, attack speed like uh, Survivalist or Berserker does, and I don't think this weapon is as strong on Medic as it is on those two classes, but it's still a pretty decent overall weapon for them. It comes in at 4 weight, which is very manageable. With its upgrades, it only goes up to 6. Again, extremely manageable. Not difficult to throw into a loadout if you want it. With its heavy attack, when you hit an enemy, uh, or an ally, then you produce a healing cloud that heals you and heals all allies around you as well as hurts all enemies and applies the poison effect to all enemies. This is really good. This makes it uh, very easy for you to get out of bad situations. If you find yourself constantly being pushed into walls by like flesh pounds and scrakes, uh, definitely try this weapon out because it can get you out of those situations. Uh, it's very similar to having um, pretty much a medic grenade on demand that actually does considerably more damage to enemies. At number five, we have the HRG Heal Thrower. This is probably the easiest weapon to use with medic and the weapon I'd recommend any beginners to play if they want to play medic um, because it is so forgiving and so easy to use. This is another tier 3 medic weapon. This does pretty low damage um, per spurt, I guess, from the healing. Uh, but it does apply the poison effect to, to enemies, uh, which causes them to freak out. It's very easy to spray this on allies to heal them, which is nice. It applies all the same buffs as if you uh, shoot them with the healing darts. This also has healing darts, so you can heal allies at close range and at long range effectively at close range really well because you can stack the spray with the darts and just keep somebody alive so if you want to just hug the berserker you can keep them alive for a very long time with this weapon there's only really two problems with the heal thrower 
Uh, one is the weight. It had, it sits at somewhat of an awkward weight. Uh, seven going up to nine. It still isn't the worst. You can still mix it with like the medic SMG, medic shotgun, stuff like that. And if any enemies are at long range, you really can't do much to them. You can't be participating in the fight if there's husks shooting at you from a distance because your weapon simply can't reach that far unless you want to be shooting healing darts at them, which is not really preferred. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the HM Tech 401 uh, Medic Assault Rifle. This is a pretty standard-ish uh, assault rifle. It holds a large amount of ammo. Uh, it does pretty good damage per shot. It has nice sights. It has pretty low recoil. Uh, the healing darts are great. Everything about this weapon is pretty good. It's all around a very solid weapon. And this is really where we get to like all of the very solid weapons with Medic where really none of them are bad and I could see myself moving them around at any point. The only real problem you're going to have with the assault rifle is it's an assault rifle so it's not going to do the most damage to large things like scrakes and flesh pounds like pretty much all the assault rifles have problems with. Um, barring maybe like the FAL, but it's still a pretty solid option. It kills medium and small stuff very quickly. It can heal allies very easily. It's a very good run and gun weapon. Coming in at number three, we have the HM Tech 501 Medic Assault Rifle or Medic Grenade Rifle. This is another assault rifle that functions very similar to the 401. It has a slower rate of fire, um, less ammo, but more damage per shot. It does have noticeably more recoil. Uh, and with its secondary fire, rather than shooting out healing darts, it fires out meta grenades. Now, meta grenades are probably the best grenade in the entire game. They apply all the same effects as the uh, actual meta grenades that you can throw as medic, which is good. So you can apply all your buffs, you can heal uh, all allies, and you can poison all enemies that walk through it, which means you can also do it through doors that have been welded up uh, or closed, which is really handy. This weapon is really good for any sort of team that stays somewhat close together because if things start swarming your team, it's very easy to, for you to set up a uh, very safe zone with the meta grenades, both with your uh, grenade launcher but also with the throwable grenades. The grenade launcher makes it so you can just set down a bunch of grenades in one area and your allies can just stick inside that area and they should be relatively safe. There are some downsides with this weapon. Um, it is pricey compared to the other weapons because it is a tier 5 weapon. Once you run out of medic grenades, uh, then you're just left with the assault rifle, which is not as good as just having any of the other guns that have healing darts that will recharge. And on very large maps, it can be kind of difficult to use this too if your team is spread out because it's very hard to lob a grenade to where your teammate can actually use it. Uh, whether that be to see it and run into it or to actually toss it on them, which can be even more difficult. Coming in at our number 2 spot, we have the Hemogoblin. The Hemogoblin is another very weird and interesting weapon. This weapon feels a little bit awkward when you first start using it. It's weighted a little bit strange with upgrades. It actually does scale pretty well with upgrades, but its weight is still kind of weird. It does high damage per shot. The bleed out effect is really nice. It makes it so it does damage over time. It can apply the poison effect if you're using acidic rounds and uh, it causes Zeds to move slower, hit for less damage, uh, and you can stack these on it. Now, if you stack multiples on there, you will still have multiple bleed effects, um, and you will prolong the other effects, like the Zed movement being slower, the uh, Zeds not doing as much damage. You can also clearly see when a Zed is hit by the Hemogoblin, because it will start uh, becoming more anemic, it will start shrinking, uh, as well as you can probably see the blood pouring out of it. This weapon's healing darts are also better than most healing darts in the weapons. All around this weapon is pretty strong. It does have a few weaknesses. The darts move kind of slow, so on longer maps uh, it can be more difficult to hit your shots at longer ranges. And then my pick for the best medic weapon is the HM Tech 301 Medic Shotgun. This is another tier 3 weapon. Um, this is a semi-automatic shotgun that holds a decent amount of shells. Uh, it has very tight, it has a very tight grouping for a shotgun, so you can shoot it at longer ranges too. It's very devastating at close ranges. It does do less damage than pretty much all the other shotguns in the game, but it still does shotgun level damage, which is a lot. So that's not a huge deal, as well as it being semi-automatic and uh, clip-fed, you can reload the entire magazine at once. So you can just make up for the lack of damage per shot with the amount of damage per second you can put out with this weapon. It comes in at a nice weight of six, so you can pair it with a lot of other weapons. With upgrades, it scales pretty well. You can use the healing darts to heal allies from pretty much any range. And this is never really a bad option on any map. That's the main reason why I put it here, because regardless of whether you're playing an extremely open map like Nuked, or you're playing a very 
uh, indoor map like uh, Voltaire Manor or something, the shotgun's going to do well no matter what, allowing you to do pretty good damage and pretty good DPS as medic is nice as well, as well as it not really taking away from your ability to heal. That's why I'd put the shotgun at number one. Tell me what you guys think of this list. Tell me where you would rank these weapons too. I'm very curious because medic weapons, pretty much everybody seems to love them because they are so good for the team but uh, everybody has their own opinions as to how good or how bad they are for whatever reason. And some of them are really good at doing one particular job and others are just good general purpose weapons. So they could really go anywhere <laughs> based on whatever you're ranking them by. So thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are new here, be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post any of these videos. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will talk to you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and bye.